Okay, we'll come again to uh, part three of our SQL tutorial for beginners. All right, so today we'll be talking about the where clause. In this video, we're talking about the where clause. And we'll be using it with uh, logical operators and compressive operators like in, between, and, or, not no, it's no, equal to, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to. All right, so um, your where clause is a filter. Yeah, so that's the same way you filter in Excel and all that. Your where clause is a filter that helps you do stuff, right? Yeah, so um, so let's go back to our, t our data. Let's see, we select star from, from project project dot data so you can just um we we've done part one and part two so if this first one you're seeing you can check the other so you can make sense of the videos okay so um this is all our data set right from ted data ted talks data views client client title links likes um, did giving and author all right so let's filter so if you say want all the all the all the ted talks that happened in december 2022 so remember that this this um this column is not a date field it's a, it's a string so we'll put it the way it is uh so we see where date given we specify the column we are working with date given is equal to december to we put a string December 21, the same way it's written. So let's run this query and see. So we only have talks that was done in December 2021. So really this is how strings work, right? Right, this is how the where clause works. Your where clause is just a filter. I remember um, uh, when I first started learning data, I was in a group of data analysts and all that. And they were talking and they were like, never put a query in production without a where clause. That was then the bank, never never put a, a query in production without the where clause. Because really, oftentimes, you wouldn't need all the rows and all the columns, right? So what you would need would always have a where clause because you're actually filtering by something. I mean real in production, like really, real in production. Yeah, so, so where clauses are really, really important. And then some of the ways you can use them, just as, as you saw here, you can use it with your equal to sign, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and other stuff like that. So let's, let's, um, and know that if you're using it with, with um, equal to, you can use equal to with a string or an integer, but you can use greater than for integer for strings. Let us put greater than here. Let's see. Oh, interesting. So greater than t December 2021. So he's putting this in an so he's seeing he's taking the D in an alphabetical order and giving us every other thing, every other alphabet in the date given that is above D. But that doesn't that doesn't make sense with us because we know that December is a date, but this this column is not is not actually a date time colon, it's a string. That's why it's giving that. So that's sort of his thing. So but in in, in um since you understand your data you would tell SQL how it would run it. So this doesn't work in our case. But let's say we wanted um, all the videos with likes greater than, or with views greater than um, 100, 500,000, 500,000 views. So can it's greater than at this point. Wow. All right, date given. So that's wrong. Um, where, so it, it, it turned blank because I said date given instead of views. So let's see views. Yeah. So you see all the talks greater than 500,000 views. Let's say anyone up to 1 million views. It's greater than 1 million views. Wow, quite a number too, interesting. So the same way just this, you could say greater than equal to, right. 
selectors, you can just play around with that, right? Those are your um, comparison operators. So we could even say, we could use a snow. So we have used is no. So we know the null data type, like null is the data type on its own. It's not empty, it's not zero, it's null. They are null values. Right? So you can see we have used is no. I don't think we have nulls in this our data set. So but let's see. We don't have nulls. So it's not returning anything because there are no null values in use. I don't think let's let's I don't think there's no value. Let me check title. I don't think there's no value in this data set. So there is no no, but then if we had no values, no no rules, it would return those no rules. So let's see where tied to is not no. It literally returns everything because there are no no values here. So you can also use your where your where um your where clause with and and or. So let's see. Um, where this given is um, equal to me me twentieth me twenty twenty and this given and this given is equal to um, August 20 so I'm telling SQL give me all the give me everything where the dates is May 2020 and August 2020 so we returns empty because nothing is in May 2020 and August 2020. But this this doesn't look right. Let me see. So I don't know why that and did not work. Perhaps I was using a double quoted string. Uh, yeah, so I use a single string here using the in operator at this point. Um, so we see where did given in. This is the same thing as writing where did given is equal to May 2020 and did given is equal to August 2020. Because you can't write where did given is equal to May 2020 and August. You need to specify the colons each time you're using the and operator or the operator or the or operator I and mean, that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> okay so um so that's the in let's let's look at that and again let me see where did given is equal to single quotes this time may 20 and um did given is equal to August twenty. Return blanks. Interesting. Or okay. So um, I should have used or, not and, right? So if I'm saying and I'm saying where date is May and then date is August, okay. But then I'm saying or you give me the give me the give me the rows where the date is either May or August, which is equal to this in operator we used here as well. So we, okay, not snow. Let's do not snow. Mm. So we see select star from project data from project step dot data. Uh, where where links is not no it's literally done is this 
not the date, it's not the column name. Colon. Colon column links. Why? The link, not links. Email link. Yeah. Literally, it's going to return everything. So when you're writing your query, you may get errors and all that stuff like that. So, but as you practice more, you would um, get to do this um, easily. Okay. And then we also have the between. So between and in, like they're all the same thing. So uh, let's let's use the views since they since it's an integer. Let's use the views. Let's say select star from this where views between. Hundred thousand and and um, one and five hundred thousand. Yeah, so it gives us only um, talks that the views are between one hundred thousand and five hundred thousand. So these are some ways you can use your where clause like to filter out. Um, rows you don't need in your query because oftentimes you will need all the rows and all the columns you just need specific rows and specific columns so you can play around that with these logical operators and um, comparison operators all right guys so we meet in the next uh, video we'll talk about the group by and the order by clauses all right guys please do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the content okay bye